Okay, so I'm just going to make a little uh, short video on just some extra trig problems, um, just to give you some more examples of how to do different types of trig problems. So suppose we have a right angle triangle here, and this is 18, this is 5, and we want to know what this angle is, is there. So this is a, this is a ratio of uh, opposite over adjacent. Is that's our t that's a tan ratio. So that's tan theta. So tan theta equals 18 over 5. And then to find the solution to this, we take the inverse function 18 over 5 to get the angle. So in this one, it's 74.5. And that makes sense. That's um, that's an, an an angle bigger than 45, and I think we'd agree that that angle looks like it'd be bigger than 45. Let's try a different one. How about um, how about this one? This is like call it 35 degrees, and this side is say 17. And let's suppose we want to know. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do this one. Let's say we want to know side A. So the ratio we're looking at for this one is a ratio between uh, opposite and hypotenuse. So in that case, that is the sine ratio. So sine 35 is equal to um, 17 over A. And we're looking to solve for a, so we can multiply both sides by a, divide both sides by sine 35. Actually, I'll do it in two steps, just, just to make sure people kind of understand what's going on here. Those cancel out. So we have a sine 35 equals 17. And then I'll divide both sides by sine 35. Those cancel out, so we get a is equal to 17 over sine 35. And just to, just thinking ahead, I would expect to find a value of a that's definitely bigger than 17. It's the hypotenuse. I don't know. It looks like if I kind of if this is drawn sort of as a scale, of a might be around 25. That's kind of what I'm expecting. So let's see what I get here. 17 divided by sine 35. Yeah, it's 20, 29.6. So not bad, yeah. So that's totally reasonable for what I would expect. Okay, how about this one? Slightly kind of different problem, but it's a good thing to practice. If that's a right angle triangle, and if this is, um, I don't know, let's call this 10, and if this is 5, what's that side length there? So, and I'm gonna I'm looking for the exact length of a. So we have uh, Pythagorean theorem: ten squared equals five squared plus a squared. So we have hundred equals twenty-five plus a squared. So that's a squared is seventy-five. Therefore, a is square root of seventy-five. So that's that's the exact answer to A. And then taking that to the <coughs> taking that to the next step, let's look at say this triangle here. Let's suppose this is eight and this is um, let's maybe make this three. And I want to know what And what I'm the, my question for this one is, what is cos theta equal to? Well, cos theta is x over eight, but we we can still we can we're not done yet because we can figure out what eight is. So we can figure out what x is. So eight squared is equal to three squared plus x squared. So 
x squared is 64 minus 9, so that's um, 55. So x is the square root of 55. So cos theta is square root 55 over 8. And we would, if we're looking for the exact answer, we just leave it there exact. That is what cos theta is. It's square root of 55 or 8. Uh, what else could we try here? Um, how about this one? And this is y. And this is 20 degrees. And this here is, say, 12. And I want to know what y is. So if I'm com if I'm looking at this angle and comparing, this is the adjacent, that's the hypotenuse. So that's equal to cos theta. So in this particular case, we have cos 20 degrees is equal to 12 over y. Um, so I can multiply both sides by y and divide both sides by cos 20. So those cancel out, those cancel out. We get y is equal to 12. That should be, thin. sorry, that should be 20. 12 divided by cos 20. So y is equal to 12.8. So there you go. There's a bunch of examples of solving um, basic trig problems.